Now here in Montreal, St. Denis Street was recently shut down for an extreme sporting event. It was called Mud Rocker and featured some of the world's best BMX and mountain bikers. As Kelly Gregg reports. The lower part of St. Denis Street is best known for its cafes and restaurants. But today, it has some very different kinds of traffic. Give a crew eight hours and a few tons of dirt, and the street becomes the perfect challenge for some of the world's top bikers. When you fly through the air with a bike, it's, everything stops but you can react and think so much faster. You're so much more in the moment, and it's just it's an amazing feeling. Everyone's got to have that in their life, a passion of some sort. When you're over the top, there's a lot of things going through your head, you know? And you're obviously super nervous, and you, you're thinking, you know, all this stuff going through your head, and you can, like, see yourself crashing and, and burning and people pointing, you know, and the ambulance coming, and then you just got to, like, you know, z zone that all out and just, just you know, focus and, and believe in yourself because, you know, you've been practicing these tricks and, and you know what you're doing, so you, you, you got to pull them, right? Events like Mud Rocker are designed to make extreme sports like this more accessible. Although this event only has 30 athletes, they come from all over the world. The USA, France, Netherlands, and of course, right here in Montreal. But that's the whole point get local crowds enthused and grow the popularity of BMX and mountain biking. It's a growing scene, uh, lots of new riders, a lot of young riders who are pushing really hard and uh, learning tricks like day in day out, it's really amazing, but uh, it's, it's growing. In the past five years it, it went from maybe 50 riders to three to five hundred I think, and that's a huge increase for our sport because it was so underground before, it was just like little warehouses that were not known about and and that's how it went, but now that we have so much more people involved in it, it's just, it's exploding in this city. It's more than just a sport to these athletes. Although they come from all different backgrounds, it's clear that their passion comes from more than just biking. Where I'm from, you know, people don't really go too many places, you know, everyone stays in the same town, you know, drinking, partying, the same thing. And when you do an action sport, you know, it gives you a reason to, to go somewhere, you know, it gives you a reason to step outside your boundaries. You're constantly pushing yourself to new places where you never thought you could ever go, you know, and without that, you know, I'd be in the same place I was for the rest of my life, you know, and this sport gave me a drive, gave me a goal, gave me a focus, and, you know, I was out of control teen and I needed that. We want everyone to see that, like, this is not just some punk kids sport like I'm 23 I've been riding since I was 14 I'm not some punk kid that's like gonna go graffiti your building because I feel like it no I'm there to have fun with my bike and my friends and that's it it's been such a journey and such a such a rewarding thing to follow my passion and to take me all over the world just doing what I love and it's great this is one Montreal road closure that gives the public much more than another construction headache this downtown street has become a weekend launching pad for a flying circus. 